Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone. Um, first of all, Ramadan Mubarak and I hope the last few days are full of lots of blessings and rewards and a calm and peaceful heart. Um, I just wanted to share a very quick story with you about my baby girl Emilio who sadly passed away in July last year. Um, and whilst we were in the hospital, we... Um, Obviously, we're very traumatized and upset and sad. And the biggest thing that stuck out for me was that there didn't seem to be any help specifically for Muslim parents. Um, there was obviously the chaplain in the hospital, but um, this wasn't sort of a long term service that you could access. And it was quite formal and um, yeah, just it wasn't what I was looking for. So long story short is uh, children of Jonah were mentioned to us when we were in the hospital. We were told there's this really good charity that you can access. However, we don't really have much information about them. Um, and we're not even sure if they still operate in London or not. We left the hospital after Amelia died. And yeah, my husband and I were in pieces, obviously. And I was really, really desperate for some kind of Islamic support and I couldn't find any. I was, I was Googling and Children of Jenna kept coming up and coming up and coming up and then I discovered this amazing pack on their website which I immediately bought um, and once it was delivered to me I was so 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 happy that I had bought it. Um, it's not going to take away your pain, it certainly didn't take away mine but it really did help to give me some comfort and to give me some answers to questions that I had. Uh, baby loss is traumatic at any stage. Losing anyone you love is traumatic. But being able to pick up um, this little book and just sort of read a little hadith from our Prophet Wasallam, or a little extract from the Quran that says our children are happily playing in the gardens of Jannah. Um, really brought me a lot of comfort and I wish, I wish, wish, wish that this could have been given to me at the hospital um, at any point in Amelia's care um, whether it was at the beginning when we first found out about her diagnosis or at the end when she actually passed away but for me it wasn't and I really hope that any parent who has the misfortune of going through something so, so, so traumatic and sad is able to get one of these because I think it's really really important that as Muslims we can um, you know just just find some comfort in the religion that we believe in and you know just be able to pick up the journal that's in here and write how we feel uh, there's lots of sort of lovely little leaflets in here with a journal that you can write in there's a, a pamphlet called Grief, Loss and Mourning in Islam. It's, it's really well thought out. Um, where is my child? Which was a massive question for me. And most importantly, probably, you're not alone. Um, so the reason I'm making this little video, I'm making a bit of a mess of it, if I'm honest, is because Children of Jannah are running a campaign called Help Our Hospitals. Some of you may have seen these leaflets around, some of you may have them at home or in your local mosque. But basically what they're asking for is if anyone can help to sponsor these amazing packs. Um, they cost £25 per pack, including postage, but it doesn't mean you have to sponsor a whole pack. If you can do half or a quarter or whatever money that you can give this Ramadan and beyond um, would go towards sending these packs out to hospitals. So when parents, inevitably, they will need them, then the hospital can give it, give them the pack and they can take that away with them. They may not read it straight away, they may not want to read it straight away, they may not want to, to look at it straight away, but they'll know that they have it there. And um, yeah, you will have contributed to bringing a little bit of comfort to parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles and other close family members and friends whose lives have ultimately been pretty much destroyed. Um, 
but with the help of children of Jannah and the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we can hopefully bring a little bit of comfort to these parents. Um, my husband and I have been blessed and honoured to sponsor some packs for hospitals. And, and ours, we've chosen ours to go to the two hospitals that were instrumental in Amelia's life. So Queen Charlotte Hospital that she was born in and St Mary's Hospital that she died in. And these are both in London. So hopefully they will, in the next few days or weeks, have some packs that they can give out to parents. And um, yeah, the, you know, parents will just feel a little bit more supported and hopefully just we will be able to bring a bit of comfort to them. And it actually makes me feel really, really, really honoured and proud that I've been able to do this in memory of my baby girl. And I can hopefully bring a little bit of comfort to somebody who's lost their baby. And I'd just like to say to anybody out there who has lost a child at any age, Oh, I say baby, I mean child at any age. Um, I'm sending you love and hugs. And I pray that Allah gives us all sabr and ease during this very difficult time. Massive thank you to children of Jannah for being there for us. Um, yeah, and if you can help, please do. Thank you.